Okay, so uh, we, we mentioned the blastocyst in the first week of human development, where, which I told you guys that you guys should not worry. I'll be making a video on the formation of blastocyst, all right? So before we go into the lecture, let me just like do any recap that I could remember. I know that um, when there is fertilization, after one day, uh, the zygote start dividing, all right, into the two cell stage, four cell stage, which is the blastula, then the first cell will now divide into the eight cell stage, which is now what we have as the what? There's not really a name for that, but the 16th cell stage is what we, is known as the morula. Yeah, the eighth cell stage is also known as the morula, okay? So morula could be eight cell stage or 16 cell stage. Then from there, we have the blastocyst. Um, we, no, 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 no. The morula is the 16 cell stage and 32 cell stage, all right? Eight cell stage doesn't really have a special name for it. Then moving from there, we have the blastocyst, which is from 70 cell stage to 100 cell stage, all right? So now we'll be talking about the formation of this blastocyst. And earlier on, we knew that blastocyst is basically still a morula. But just that this morula, there's a fluid, okay? It is now filled up with fluid, all right? So now, there are some inner cells that are compacted to one portion of the, of the um, cavity, all right? So now, this is it, all right? This is the blastocyst, and we'll be talking about the formation of the structure, all right? So basically, uh, begins when the morula enters the uterus, okay? About the fourth day after fertilization, all right? So the morula... Is a 16 cell stage or 32 cell stage, all right? So now when it enters the uterus, the process for blastocyst formation comes in. So, fluid passes from the uterine cavity through the zonal pellucida to form the blastocystic cavity, all right? This is a cavity, all right? You see the morula here, the morula here, there's no cavity, but here you see there's a cavity, all right? So that's it. Uh, the cavity separates the blastomers into two parts. All right. So now, centrally located blastomers, also known as the inner cell mass, are now called embryoblasts. Okay. This is because they are the ones that will later become the embryo properly. Okay. So these centrally located cells, this one here, called embryoblasts. All right. Because they are the ones that will later develop into the embryo, okay, developing into the human and the placenta, okay? This is the embryonic pool where the placenta will actually come out to attach to the mom, okay? So moving forward, let's talk about the outer layer. We said that the outer layer is, uh, outer cell layer is also called outer cell mass, okay? And um, the inner cell layer is called the embryoblast, so the outer cell layer is called the trophoblast, okay? So the trophoblast becomes the embryonic portion of placenta, okay? The trophoblast becomes the embryonic portion, yeah, yeah, yeah. The conceptus here is called the blastocyst, basically that's it. Um, uh, the side with the embryo is called the embryonic pole, okay? While the opposite side is called the ab embryonic pole. Now, let me explain this. I see that there's a blastocyst here. Can you see these uh, compacted cells inside? That's the embryo blast. Okay. Now, this side with the embryo blast is called the embryonic pole, while the side directly opposite the side with the embryo is called the ab embryonic pole. Okay. And these cells surrounding this is basically the trophoblast. Okay. So guys, that's it about uh, formation of blastocyst. That's a blastogenesis. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. See you guys.